Hi, SnapMD5 is a simple utility used to verify that downloads are exact copies of what you expected to get. The interface is quite simple. It has a file name field that you can browse for. It has a read-only MD5 sum field that's computed from this file name. And then it has this clipboard field, which is usually populated from the clipboard. So it's as if you typed Control v in there and pasted it. I'm going to show you how to use it with an example. So if we were to go download CD Burner XP, you'd see that you can download it here and then below here is an MD5 sum that they give you. What this is telling you is that's the MD5 sum of this file and if you were to compute the MD5 sum and get anything other than this exact string, then it's not the right file. The file's been corrupted somehow. Now what you do to use the utility SnapMD5 is you copy this into the clipboard and then you download the file and in the interest of time I downloaded it already so we wouldn't have to wait for it. Now when you run SnapMD5 you'll see that the clipboard field has already been populated that came from what I just put in the clipboard and then you can browse to the location and you can see that it's a match so you know that that's the valid file that we downloaded now I opened this other file up in a hex editor and changed a single byte and you can see if we run this again on this other file that we get a very different MD5 sum. It's completely different than the original one that we expected to get. So it doesn't take much to change the MD5 sum dramatically. Now one other element to using MD5 sum, in fact the whole reason that I wrote it is because of this utility here known as free commander. I use this as my explorer replacement so instead of using just the Windows Explorer I use this and you'll see up here that you can have custom utilities that act on the selected version or files here. So in the configuration of the preferences you specify the program you want to run folder you want it to start in and then the parameter you pass to the utility so in this case we're using snapmd5 and we're passing the active selected file and then you can also set a hotkey control 8 is the hotkey in this case so you can go up here and select it and you can see that it already passed in the file we didn't have to browse to it it computed the MD5 sum it already pasted it from the clipboard and we see it's a match so it's a single click. If you don't want to use the mouse, you can hit Control-8, and that computes it as well. And now you can see, by the same token, when we run it on the bad version, it comes up invalid. You'd know you'd have to re-download the file to get the correct one. So that's the brief overview of SnapMD5. Have fun using it.